I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their blood work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their wealth. Robbed by war! The battle of the whip, the chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. What? The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Mm. I would like to take this time to apologize for um, lack of commentary last couple days, but this game um, is really good, and it's really hard for me to talk shit about a game that's good. So. So good to shake the kinks from one's bones.
Okay, I was just looking up something. We must find more, more fun. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a. And they said fire burns hotter than an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Sounds hot. Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid will be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shawnee, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. He's wearing boxer shorts. Come on. I bet I find the uh, bow slippers down here somewhere. Good, sir. Just when you think you know all the plow folks' customs, they you surprise you with slippers. So, now the shark's faded, perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. Oh, there's just a whole bunch of fucking lost shoes down here. I'm assuming it will say it's her shoe when I get it.
guess I got them all. Damn mucky that pond. Sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Mm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owner of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and yeah. let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. Or tell me. Who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles, am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you, and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the cafe. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the cafe. You're a maid too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance? Out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks. And we'll toast the lovely pair with each pair of coffee sheets. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be unkind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Brides won't hold eternal, bride will just be there. She'll make a bit of trouble in the coming year. What's the groom of the king? Happy daughter to the Must be said, Garland, 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 Garland,
That really necessary? It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. That was dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance. Their hair swirling freely. Their bodices undone. Their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Garrett think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick. Go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? <laughs> what did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see. So... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. <laughs> Should get back to Old Geard soon. And like that, it's over. Huh. Here, I thought I might get some more time with you. Silly, wasn't it? Wouldn't say that. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. I probably dismissed the sex scene. But oh well. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. 
surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Joyce, besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Her spirits. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. Supposedly something over here, but I don't see it. When did you last touch a winch? <laughs> a Rowan. Shani mentioned she used to weave the berries into necklaces. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. see each other so rarely. Figured old Geard could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. You remembered I liked the Rowan. I remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. Such a good girl. All alone. You got me. For how long? A day? Uh. Two? Don't get me wrong. It's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, in that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. I'm afraid the drinks got to our mood seems horribly off-key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. 
good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <laughs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. That was background. What I remember most, the mood, the feelings, the people I met. And those I met for the second time in my life. You're right. I was up to my elbows in work, but those were good times. They're nice memories. For me too. You needn't worry mm -hmm. about our finances, sir. Well, please. My workshop, business is booming. Good. I'm relieved to hear it. See, coins tied to our end. But don't tell the old Battleax. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Most men folk need to stick together. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You can call me Dar. Oh, thank you, Dar. I feel honored. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. You mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. What kind of beau's unfit? Uh, so far, every kind. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Um, uh, I guess not. But it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the Academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the Academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in that condition. If they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. That was Vladimir, not me, remember? But pretend for a moment it had been you, and the situation had been different. Say you're at the wedding, and that very girl keeps glancing, smiling at you. Then she finally walks up and you know exactly what she wants. What do you do? <laughs> Put it 
that way, and I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> a witcher never lets an opportunity pass, is that it? No, he does, if he spots a better one nearby. Ooh, gorgeous. Yeah, it is. This game has really fucking good graphics. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. The breathing sounds are fucking dumb. It's like two fat diabetics just got done running up seven flights of stairs, and now they're kissing. Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Promised you this night. Aim to keep my word. And I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Rats. Piers taken. Got a feeling it's about to free up. How did you know? I'm clairvoyant. <sighs> Practically full. It'd be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. Throw me to the moon. Gotta fly to get to the moon. You're dead wrong. Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. <laughs> what are you doing? What one usually does on the moon. I could have avoided this, but I enjoy being awkward. I suppose if I put an 18... or whatever on YouTube it probably won't get removed being that it's uh, art
It's like one of the worst sex scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> Awake already? For a while now. Did you know you've gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other? Keeping count? Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Fucking women. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. I wonder if I can actually return these clothes. Whatever. Um. the wenches which is coming I wonder if I already did that one. Oh well. I'm gonna check and see if I can maybe read whatever that is.
think those cows were floating in the air. Maybe it's uh, low fat milk. I'll turn into a strigger if I don't eat my dinner. Sun's high already, betcha, and you barely gathered a second basket. Whoa! Oh wait, I got a new fucking card I haven't looked at yet. Pretty sure that's actually it too. Wonder if the AI will stay right in the middle of the trail. Let's go!
wonder if it's possible to make this game look even better. Because I'm getting 60 frames. Let me turn my metrics on here. Oh, apparently the Vega has its own uh, dynamic resolution. I didn't realize that. A lot of stuff for DirectX 9 in here. Oh, here we go. I don't know if that froze my stream or not, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that means I can put it in 4K now if I want to. Try it. I don't know what this is going to look like on stream. It shouldn't look like anything changed. Yeah, 
I think I changed back. It's not gonna let me do it. I think it's because I'm streaming. Whatever, I'm done fucking with it. Oh. Probably turn the metrics off. That's it, Roach. Back again, Rivian. Behold, medley galloping. Go, go. Hey there. There's a lot of people saying that the quests in uh, Cyberpunk 2077 aren't that good, but like, I can't imagine the people that made this game making bad quests. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I haven't played it yet. I only benchmarked it, but I don't, I don't fucking believe it. I think people were just finding, uh, just flat out being asshats at the moment because their game doesn't want to work. <laughs> as far as I know, me and my friend haven't experienced any bugs. He's actually been playing through it on a 970, and he hasn't experienced any bugs. Um... I haven't, like I said, I only benchmarked it, but I didn't experience any bugs when I was running around the city, you know, checking frame rates, so. <laughs> uh, there's always going to be somebody that doesn't know what the fuck to do, or what the fuck they're doing, or whatever they're talking about. If you've ever uh, looked at a uh, Torrent's comment sections, you'll you'll know that. Be true. I really That's don't so like all this popping though. Like my computer's a fucking beast. So is there a way to It's already on Ultra? Let's see what this does. Fucking with my card again. Can't help it. <laughs> oh. Never mind then. None of this affects the game because it's not DirectX 9. I thought that one at least did, but it doesn't. Barber around here, isn't there? Slow now. Oh, apologies. 
ですね Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? So long. Put that hair works to work. You see, have you any children, Geralt? None. No, oh, yes. Forgot which is a sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal. Demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Play out your cards. I feel like I might actually be screwed here, but we'll see.
yeah. Monster decks are pretty good. If you fulfill wishes as well as you play Gwent, I venture I've naught to fear. We'll have to play again. So long. Oh, no, no, no. I'm kicking this guy's ass. Alright. actually aren't that good. So do some fog, some frost. Him too. Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. So careful. Why not? He doesn't have a whole lot of range, so I can afford to get rid of one of those. Give it to me, huh? what I was waiting for.
I'm just gonna take the one. I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Let's see what I got. So oh, a toad? Probably monster only. Spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish, and oh. talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. His hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all, or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. But I gotta beat the barkeeper in quite now. Guess not. So long. So fast, Roach.
tracks are clear, leading to the woods. Uh-oh. This little piggy ate raw and steaming human flesh. That's a bummer. Truck. Then I haven't been full health in who knows how long. I should probably uh, rest or whatever. Uh, I don't need the. Fucking cook him. Or not. Oh shit, he's gonna fucking kill me. Let's try art then, huh? Efficient. Now you got I don't to know save. about that, I had to load an autosave. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. <laughs> we? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm?
Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent, that ought to set me straight. Fine, but whatever. happen to have some yarrow extract I do in the back follow me please Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. I've spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Hmm. Ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Wish to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shithole otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow, you won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or 
carry a note. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault, a safe cracker. Demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye. Well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One and two, I'd say. Formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see, brew up a bit of that, hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You can also use your fists. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahaka. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Vault door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Olmus. My plane turned us down. Any options? Quinto. The North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. As far as I know, his troops made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Pontar. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorites have line Gallo. A circus artist no better as Kier. Just now performing with a troop somewhere near Oxenford. Their specialities. Rhythmic gymnastics. Ah! Uh, breaking and entering. 
Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I would doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A half -wing. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. That's lewd as fuck. Okay, I think it's done. I am going to take a break, get something to eat, and then I'll be back on.